Welcome to RC Video Reviews. In today's video, I'm going to show you on Edge TX how to create a two-stage arming sequence that takes advantage of a momentary switch and a standard throttle lock. So real quick, I'm going to show you my channel monitor. My throttle is on channel 3, and you can see when I move this throttle stick that I have the mixer saying we have movement, but nothing on the output. And you can also see I've got a little lock there. So the throttle is locked, no movement. I'll also show you the switch configuration we're going to use in this setup. On a stock TX16S, SH is a momentary switch and SF is a two position switch. On my radio, I've switched them. So SF for me is a momentary and SH is a standard two position. On my radio, I like the throttle cut to be active when this switch is pulled toward me. So when SH is pulled down or toward me, I want that to be the throttle cut. And then on the right hand side, SF is that momentary switch or our prearm. Okay, let's walk through the logic real quick. L02 is an AND switch that says SF has to be down and SH have to be down. This is what requires the throttle to be locked before we can go through the prearm sequence. So my SH switch is down right now, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the SF switch and move it into the down position. L03 and L04 are both sticky switches. The idea behind L03 is we wanna know when SF and SH have both been down. So L03 goes on when that condition is met, and then when SH is pushed up, that will turn off L03. So when I push that up, that basically cancels or turns off the prearm check. Also notice when I push up L04 stays on, it is deactivated when I pull SH back down. This is the reset process. The idea here is that when we deactivate the model, we wanna reinitiate the entire prearm sequence. And L05 says that when L04 is on and SH is pushed away, then we're clear to fly. So when I pull SH toward me now, that's gonna turn the rest of these lights off and we're back to step one where we have to conduct the prearm sequence. Here's a quick look at the special functions that govern the whole thing. When L05 is not on, we have an override on channel three of negative 100. When L03 is lit, I've got a prearm audio track that plays. I'll make that prearm track available in my Emily request folder on Discord if you want to grab a copy of that one. So when I pull SF toward me, L03 goes on and it says prearm. And then finally, when I turn SH away, we go to armed. And then when I pull SH toward me and L05 is no longer lit, it says disarmed. Let's walk through the arming sequence one last time. Remember, SH has to be in the down position. If it's up, it doesn't matter how many times you hit the prearm, it's simply not gonna activate the logic process. Once we pull SH to the down position, we can now pull our prearm switch and that'll activate L02, three, and four. So we do that, now we've got L03 and four both active. Now remember, as soon as I hit arm, L03 goes off, and as soon as I hit disarm, L04 goes off, which is what resets the entire process. So I'll go ahead and arm the model now, and L05 goes on. That gives us control, you can see on the monitor, we've got movement on the mixer and the outputs. And when we disarm by pulling SH down, that turns everything off, and when we go back to the monitor, we can see we no longer have movement on the throttle channel. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please subscribe. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy, and go fly something.